Hi, how are you doing? It's Rich from Racing Profits and I just wanted to welcome you to the Racing Profits Guide to picking the winner of the Epsom Derby. It really is flat, flat racing's Grand National. In fact, when it was first staged in 1780, that was the aim of the Derby. It was aimed to be the flat racing equivalent of the Aintree Grand National. It's one of the five classics throughout the flat season. Obviously at Newmarket we have the 1,000 and 2,000 guineas. Then at Epsom you have the Oaks for the Phillies and the Derby. And then at the end of the season we finish the season with the St Ledger over at Doncaster. It's the second leg of what's classed as the English Triple Crown as well, which consists of the 2,000 guineas over at Newmarket, the Derby here at Epsom and the St Ledger at Doncaster. It's a unique race in a unique setting on the Epsom Downs and this always creates a fantastic atmosphere at the Derby. It's the ultimate test of horse and jockey, very much like the Grand National is for national hunt jockeys. The Derby is a group, group one race, it's open to thoroughbred three year old colts and fillies and older. So the race is run over the um, Epsom Downs course and anyone who's seen or walked the course will know that it's a very physically demanding course. It's got twists, turns, rises and falls. It's like being on a roller coaster at times. Um, and then you come round the famous Tattenham corner to complete the, the gruelling one mile four foot long course. So the winner's going to need to display balance, speed, stamina and courage. Previous winners... The Derby's thrown up some great horses over the years, including Workforce in 2010, who basically shattered the, uh, the speed record for completing the Derby. See the Stars, who again was the winner of the 2000 Guineas and the Derby, Shergar and Nijinsky. As I say, in 2010, Workforce powered home to win by seven lengths. That was the largest winning margin since Shergar's amazing 10 length win in 1981. He also set the fastest time recorded for the Derby at 2 minutes 31.33. The Derby also cements jockeys as legends, with the multiple winners including Lester Piggott, Willie Carson, Mick Kinane, Johnny Murta and of course Kieran Farron. So how do you find the winner of the Derby? The key is with any horse race, and as we did with the Aintree Grand National when I did my video on narrowing the field down there, is to just do that, is to narrow down the field and get yourself down to the real contenders for the race. We've got plenty of historical data extending right back, um, so we can very accurately profile what a likely winner is going to look like. I'll keep the data very recent and focus on the past 20 years results, um, but there are some really strong trends. So here's my top tips, my top five tips for finding the winner. First of all, focus your efforts on the top six in the betting. Only once in the past 19 year, in the past 20 years, only once has a horse won outside the top six in the betting. And that was the 20 to one shot high rise in 1998. So it's not really a race that's going to throw up any surprises or outsiders winning. However, it doesn't mean that this is a favourites race either. There's only been three favourites, one over the past 20 years uh, and two joint favourites. Um, so basically, it is out of those top six, it isn't always the favourite that wins this race. Look for less exposed colts. Again, the colts really should have raced no more than five times uh, before they race at the Derby. Uh, the average is between three and five times. Fifteen winners from the last 20 years have raced five times or less. Indeed, over the last 13 years, there's only been one winner, um, and that was New Approach in 2008, that had raced more than five times before they won the Derby. The draw. As with a lot of flat racing, the draw is vital. Uh, and especially in this sort of race, such a demanding race, you need to get a very, uh, a very good position early on in the race. Stalls 3 to 10 are the optimum stalls to have your horse in. It's given us 15 winners from the past 20 years from these stalls. The very low stalls, 1 and 2, or the higher stalls, sort of 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15, um, don't tend to throw up as many winners. 
12 of the last 14 winners have also performed at listed and group level. So look for a pattern performances in listed or group level over 1 mile or 1 mile 2 furlongs. Finally look at the trial races. On the run up to the derby there's plenty of races that give us real clues to who's going to perform well on the day. The 2000 guineas obviously offers the first clues coming at the end of April um, and it's really a strong performance in the 2000 guineas is important. Um, see the stars won the 2000 guineas and the derby double um, in 2009. However, the one word of caution is that this is stepping up from one mile round Newmarket to one mile four furlongs of the undulating Epsom track. So it's a very different proposition. So a lot of horses don't make the transition from the 2000 guineas up to Derby winner. The Dante. Now the Dante at York um, in early May is a far better guide. Uh, it's over the, an extended one mile two furlongs. Six winners of the Dante in the past 20 years have gone on to victory in the Derby. Uh, the fact um, is that actually the last seven winners, four of them, have achieved the Dante Derby double. The Derrinstown Stakes race, it's held over one mile two furlongs at Leopardstown over in Ireland in early May. And again, three winners from the past 20 years have come from that race. Uh, all in consecutive years, funnily enough, 2000, 2001 and 2002. So again, it, it's a great guide to a strong performance in the derby. And the D-Stakes, although not quite as important, the D-Stakes over at Chester um, is run over the extended one mile two furlong and it has thrown up two winners that won at the D-Stakes and then gone on to win the derby. The last was Chris Kin in 2003. So how many horses have you got left? Well, you should be just down to the, fa to the top six, really, and then use the other factors to determine which one, out of the, which one or two out of those six are your hot favourites for the race. You should be able to discount the majority of them and give yourself a really good chance of picking the winner. If you head over to racingprofits.net, uh, to my site, to my blog, we've put up um, the last 20 years winners of the Epsom Derby. I've put up a... Um, a copy of the spreadsheet for the last 20 years so you can check out statistics for yourself. Uh, also what I'll be doing on Saturday morning of the race uh, of the derby I'll also be putting up my shortlist of contenders and my reasoning and also what my selection will be for the race this year. So good luck and I'll talk to you soon.